I think that uh, cognitive decline in multiple sclerosis is actually a part of the whole neurological assessment. Uh, and very often it is more difficult to assess it in uh, a regular neurological evaluation. And therefore, um, neurologists use very uh, sophisticated cognitive assessments that are um, actually taking uh, more time. Uh, and they assess um, in, in, a, in a better way the memory, executive function, information processing speed, um, language skills. Um, and sometimes, you know, there is some heterogeneity in your cognitive performance, uh, even in, of course, in normal subjects and also in our patients. Um, but the major issue is to see over time that the patient is, lo- is not losing uh, functions, is, lo- is not losing uh, uh, cognitive abilities. And we all know that with time, we also lose some, um, we find that there is a lose, loss of brain tissue, which, which is uh, translated to, to atrophy, to, to brain loss, to neuronal loss. And probably this is associated also with cognitive decline. So it is important to follow the patient and, and also to see the effect of say, various medication on the cognitive function. And now that we have such effective um, immunomodulatory medication uh, that really reduce uh, the relapse rate and the disability, we also, we also want to see their effect on cognitive loss and on brain atrophy. If you use very uh, delicate tests, so uh, like you do a psychometric evaluation and uh, the test is difficult, so you will you will be able to really uh, evaluate your patient and evaluate very early the cognitive impairments. However, if you do a test that uh, does not require um, real uh, or, or is not assessed as a real cognitive uh, difficulty. So many of the patients will actually um, um, be assessed and, and as, as doing well in the test. Uh, for We have several tests that are really uh, not very difficult to perform like the clock drawing test. So the patient is asked to draw uh, a specific hour on the clock. This is a test that is used for Alzheimer patients and when it is impaired, you already have a very significant impairment in your performance. What we are trying to do is to use much more uh, advanced tests that are computerized evaluating tests. So when you use your mouse, you don't only um, respond accurately to a specific cognitive question, but we also see the time that you are responding. So we can assess that you have prolonged time response, and this is very important because it is really the first sign to see the impairment.